SeaWorld Orlando is an amusement park located in Orlando, Florida, right close to Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando. This park is mainly known for their animal encounters, but has been moving forward over the years into adding more roller coasters into the park. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you my top five roller coasters at SeaWorld Orlando. Number five, Journey to Atlantis. Journey to Atlantis is a Mack Rides water coaster, and this coaster has lots of potential. However, this ride is the definition of past its prime. The building is very faded, there's no story, and the ride just feels like a shadow of its former self. I did like the touch-ups they gave the coaster this year, especially with the retrack and the return of the siren animatronic. However, this coaster, in my opinion, is in desperate need of a major overhaul. The drops are very fun, you get wet, but the next coaster's on this list, in my opinion, are just so much better. Just do a little TLC to the ride itself, and I honestly think Journey to Atlantis could be one of the best roller coasters at Sea Orlando. But for right now, I have it at last place. Number 4, Kraken. This coaster might be at the number 4 spot, but this is still one fantastic floorless roller coaster. The inversions are forceful, I love the layout, and the coaster dives th through some really cool trenches in the second half. Now, Kraken definitely has a very strong B&M rattle, which is why the coaster is not higher, but I wouldn't say it's enough to ruin the coaster completely. Plus, they gave Kraken a really cool repaint this year, which I think just looks absolutely phenomenal. Kraken is now looking better than ever than what has looked in the past. Overall, Kraken is currently my favorite B&M Floors coaster so far, and it will be difficult to beat this one. Now, I have not been on Two Man Krypton Coaster at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, but for right now, Kraken is my favorite Floors coaster. Number 3, Icebreaker. The main word I would use to describe this coaster is surprising. Icebreaker, perhaps, is one of the biggest surprises I have had with being an enthusiast for so long. Icebreaker might not be the longest coaster, but holy cow, this airtime is crazy. It perhaps might have the strongest airtime in Orlando, if I have to be honest with you. I am dead serious. Not only that, but the quadruple launch is loads of fun, the pacing is strong, and the Icebreaker is just tons of fun overall. It is currently my favorite Premier Rides roller coaster so far, and I really cannot get enough of this thing. Number 2, Manta. This is by far my favorite flying coaster. For starters, I absolutely love this queue line. Walking next to the aquarium with all the rock work is just such a gorgeous experience. Then you get to the coaster itself, and it has some very smooth and graceful twists. It interacts with the theming, which is what I absolutely love, and it has one of the craziest inversions that I've ever experienced with that pretzel loop. The pretzel loop is honestly so intense that it is honestly kind of uncomfortable. Just the way that it pushes you towards your back is just such a crazy feeling that you need to experience for yourself to truly understand. Manta is overall such a fantastic coaster, it's one that I always recommend every time you go to SeaWorld Orlando. Number 1, Mako. This is truly the king of the crop of SeaWorld's roller coaster lineup. Mako is currently Orlando's tallest and fastest roller coaster, and Mako is just filled with some of the greatest floater airtime that I've ever experienced on any roller coaster. Plus, I absolutely love how Mako is over the water, Mako is super smooth, and I just love the B&M clamshell restraints. I feel like they are some of the most comfortable restraints on any coaster anywhere. Plus, Mako is just one of the most re-rideable roller coasters. It usually never has a line, and especially if you get a back road night ride that wears trimless, the experience is just that much more legendary. It's currently my favorite B&M hyper roller coaster by a, quite a margin, and it's going to be a very tough to dethrone Mako, if I have to be honest with you guys. To summarize this video up, while Stewart Orlando might not have as much to offer as Walt Disney World or Universal Orlando, this park has such an excellent coaster collection and they're all very different from each other. And plus, with the new coaster that they're adding next year in 2023, it's just going to make this park even more worth it to come to. It makes this trip just worth it altogether. So that is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future if you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to check out Theme Park Eye Productions on all social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Discord. Go check it out because, like, I went you guys. Don't forget to check out my other accounts as well, the Disney's Act for some cast member content. And don't forget to check out Flat Fan for some football content if you're interested in football. Especially with the regular season coming up, that account is going to be more active than ever. I will see you guys next time and you are clear for dispatch.